Hi, in uh, this video we'll discuss about the domain for, the, for uh, attributes in which you want to store a sequence of characters, a text. And uh, for the modeling purposes, we'll consider three main uh, such domains. A character with a specified size uh, that is used to uh, store uh, values that have a fixed small size, like under 255 characters. Uh, then we have variable size characters that are used for uh, uh, even small uh, values uh, in size or large values in size, but the main characteristic is that they may have various sizes. And uh, also long text, which is uh, used for a big text, like a chapter of a book or an article in a journal and so on that have a lot of characters. And uh, most, uh, most of the cases we use it when a variable character does not fit. It's too small to fit all the values uh, that uh, we want to keep. So let's uh, start discussing each of them. The char type uh, must have a size specified. And uh, it will store uh, as values uh, a string of characters uh, with that given size. All, it, all the values must have that given size. This size uh, can be up to 255. Uh, usually, uh, if we have a shorter value than the size that we specify, this will be padded with uh, spaces when it's stored. So spaces will be added at the end and uh, will still store a uh, value with a given size. Uh, so um, for this reason, uh, sometimes various versions of SQL will uh, work differently with this type if we use smaller uh, values. Uh, because when you retrieve the value, it might have spaces, it might not have spaces, depending on what version of SQL uh, you used. Uh, we generally use uh, this uh, type when we have values that have the same size, uh, which is, and they are small values, like uh, I said, the, there is a limit of 255 characters. Let's consider, let us consider some examples. For instance, uh, for the entity person, we may have the social security number. Uh, and uh, one typical format uh, uh, in which this uh, number can be provided is uh, uh, this one with some dashes after the first freeze and after the next two um, digits. Now, when we decide to store it, it's clear that all social security numbers will have the same format. So it's a good example for the char uh, domain type because uh, we have a fixed size of the fixed number of characters for the social uh, security number. Now, uh, we may decide to store it in two ways. One is to keep the format, to keep the dashes in the values. And uh, in that case, if we count all the uh, characters, we'll have uh, four plus three plus four, uh, you know, this will be 11 characters. So we can uh, have as a domain type of this attribute character of 11, and we store the dashes exactly in the format in which uh, the uh, number is provided here. Uh, this will help us because it's easier for us to read raw data. If we look in a table that contains these uh, numbers, it will be easy to read uh, them. Uh, however, it will require more storage space because for each value we add two dashes. Um, and uh, also has the advantage of we can display it as it's stored. We don't need to process to display it with dashes. It's already there. We just display the value and looks uh, nice. Now, uh, if we store a lot of social security number and if we don't want to lose uh, any uh, storage space, we can save these two bytes by just keeping the digits. Uh, so uh, we can save it as a char of nine because uh, we have only nine. Uh, digits that are significant. And uh, this will be a store uh, storage without format. Uh, now, this will make them harder to read when we look at a, a number, 
Uh, and also, when we want to print them in a, a report or somewhere, we we'll need to have a special output format for uh, for them. Um, now, uh, another question that you might have: Okay, it's a number. Why we don't store it as a number? Why we store it as a, a text? Uh, now, as a number has no meaning. Initially, there was some meaning to this number. Uh, each group had a different role. Uh, currently, there is no such uh, meaning associated with uh, the numbers, and it's mostly used as a code. So I don't do mathematical operations with the social security numbers. It's just a code, an identifier for uh, for the person. Because of that, we don't use usually a, a number type, and we use a character type for uh, social security. Another example is a phone number. So again, for a for an entity person, we may have an attribute phone or phone number, uh, and uh, one format is uh, the one uh, presented here that is possible for the phone number. Sure, there are many other formats in which we can provide the phone number. Now, again, we have both uh, strategies. We can store with format, and then if we compute all the characters in this format. There are 14 characters, and I will have a character of 14 as a format. And this will make uh, uh, easier to read the raw data. We can display the raw data as it's stored, but will require more storage space. In fact, here we'll need to keep four more bytes, the two parentheses, the space, and the dash. So uh, for each phone number, we keep four more bytes um, in, um, in storage. Uh, now, if space is critical, then we can keep only the numbers. Again, we can have a char of 10, uh, and we store only the digits in the numbers, uh, which, similar to the social security number, it will be harder to read the raw data, uh, and we'll need to process, if we want to, to, to print in the nice format, we'll need to process to have a function to process this uh, data to show it nicely on, uh, on the screen. So, uh, and again, it's a number. Why we don't save it as a number? And uh, similar with uh, social security, it's, uh, we don't do oper numeric operations with it. We, we keep it just as a text because it's made of uh, digits, but it's basically a test and it's used uh, as a code, not as a um, mathematical number. So let's, uh, let's move to the next. Uh, data type. So, char was for a fixed length text. Now, most of the texts that we have, uh, values of type text, they are not fixed length. For instance, uh, names of persons, names of cities, uh, states, uh, countries. Uh, most of the text that we store has each value has a different size. Uh, for for this for this situation, we use a variable character varchar domain type, and this will have a size specified as a, a maximum size. This will not be uh, the size of each value, like was in the char. This is a maximum size that a value may have, but a value may have uh, fewer characters than this uh, 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 maximal size. And this maximum size is allowed to be um, up to 65,000 uh, characters. So it's uh, pretty big. So we'll cover most of the text values that uh, we might need. Um, when, you, when it's stored, it will not occupy, the char will always occupy the same size, like a char of four will occupy four bytes always. A variable character will occupy it will store first the size itself, so it will store how many characters I have in my value, and then it will store the value. So it will occupy basically uh, a little bit more, one, one uh, more than the uh, size of, uh, of the value. Uh, now, we only use variable character if the values have different sizes and they are not huge strings over 64k of uh, of characters 
let us consider an example now for uh, the entity person. Uh, we may have various attributes like first name, last name, middle name. All of these will keep a variable size value because each of the persons have uh, the first name can have five characters, can have 10 characters, can have 15 characters. So the size of uh, first name will uh, vary from person to person. Now, this size that we need to specify for a variable character uh, domain type, it's the maximum size. How much we allow the maximum value to have as number of characters. Uh, in our case, we can put something in between 15 to 50. Uh, I'll say 15, it's a little bit too low because there are a lot of long uh, first names that will not fit in it. So we'll not be able to put uh, the entire first name, we'll be able to put only part of it. In some application, this will not be allowed. While 50 might be a little bit too high because uh, if we want to show a column or some uh, uh, table display with all the values, this will make the table pretty pretty high. Uh, now, uh, sometimes we want to keep the full first name. So from a legal perspective, we might want to go to a, a very big value. Uh, now, uh, also there are some exceptions. There are some persons who just wanted to make fun and put very long first names to, to their name, like there is a person, so there was a person with 26 first names. Uh, there is another person that have over 700 characters in, uh, in uh, the full name. So in, in that case, uh, you, you will need to, you, you may make exceptions. So you don't need to take care of each and every situation. However, always discuss with the customer. See what the customer wants. So if the customer does not specify which is the maximum size, that you need to be, to allow, then you can discuss with him, okay, look, most of the first names are around 20 characters. It's okay if I uh, keep the only the first 20 characters. If somebody has more, we lose that information. But uh, if from if it's no legal or business uh, issue with that, then uh, you, you may be able to do it. Now, uh, why, why this is important? Uh, why not to put 700 for for all first names uh, is just to avoid uh, uh, wrong data to be to be recorded. So, and again, depends of what the customer wants. So, what's more convenient for the customer? There is no uh, rule uh, when to stick with the maximum possible and when you can grant some exceptions and stick with the usual case. Another situation, for instance, is uh, if you have an entity city, and sure, it will have an attribute name, the name of the city, uh, what uh, what uh, uh, size you will put for the name. And the longest name uh, of a city in US, it's 30 letters long. So to be safe, you can put a variable character of 30 letters. Sure, it's a variable character because each city has different sizes uh, for, uh, the, for the name for the values of uh, the attribute name. So, uh, but also you may put 20 because almost all the names are under 20 letters long and still be fine. So there will be a few, uh, very few uh, cities that will not completely fit their name, but for uh, uh, for some applications, this will not uh, count. Imagine for instance, a GPS, when you want to show this on the screen, uh, if it's too long, it will not fit your screen. So in that case, you may put uh, 20 letters or even fewer, just as you need to, to show on the GPS screen. So uh, yeah, that's why sometimes you, you don't go to the maximum, you may go to, the, uh, to a value that uh, covers most of the cases. However, if the customer specifies which is the desired maximum, which is a desired value, you need to follow that one. So always, uh, always this kind of, uh, Uncertainties are solved by discussion with the customer. Now, the last situation is when we really have a very, very long text. And uh, uh, with a variable character, the maximum that we can have was uh, uh, 64K. Now, if we need more than that for, for the value, so if we want to keep as 
data item in uh, in uh, the database that has more than that, we need to go to the type long text. And this one will allow us to, to go to a huge number of uh, characters, basically more than enough uh, that you will ever need. Um, the, the, it is used when you have long unstructured text. And we'll consider a few examples so you can see where such a situation may appear. For instance, we will use long text if we if we have an entity chapter and uh, we want to imagine chapter in a book, let's say, and we want to have an attribute content that will keep the text, the entire text of that chapter. And in that case, this might be pretty long. So considering a standard page is around 1800 characters, uh, a 40 page chapter will not fit in a variable character. And, uh, to, to be sure, you will need to use for such a case long text. We will have very rare use of long text. Uh, most of the cases will be covered by char and variable character, character and variable character, char and bar char type. 